The man behind the mask, the name behind the terror, Jihadi John. This, the face he hid from the world, his real name, Mohamed Mwazi, born in Kuwait, raised in Britain. He'd once taunted the Prime Minister with these words. The blood of David Haynes was on your hands, Cameron. Alan Henning will also be slaughtered. Well, today, from David Cameron, confirmation of the airstrike, condemnation of the man he called the terror group's lead executioner. Mwazi is a barbaric murderer. He was shown in those sickening videos of the beheading of British aid workers. He posed an ongoing and serious threat to innocent civilians, not only in Syria, but around the world. Britain and our allies will not rest until we've defeated this evil terrorist death cult and the poisonous ideology on which it feeds. Today, though, my thoughts and the thoughts of our country are with the families of those who were so brutally murdered. The murders of the British aid workers Alan Henning and David Haynes, American journalists James Foley and Stephen Sotloff, US aid worker Peter Kassig, and Japanese hostages Karuna Yakawa and Kenji Goto have all been linked to Mohamed Mwazi. Some of the families have given their reaction to the airstrike. It's just so sad that our precious resources have been, you know, concentrated to seek revenge, if you will, or kill this man. Jim would have been devastated that, with the whole thing. Jim was a peacemaker. Meanwhile, David Haynes' daughter said, I felt an instant sense of relief. As much as I wanted him dead, I also wanted answers as to why he did it. And from Stephen Sotloff's mother, if they got him, great, it doesn't bring back my son. I don't think there will ever be closure. From America, after its airstrike, a stark warning to other future targets. Your days are numbered, and you will be defeated. Mohamed Mwazi's backstory as a British schoolboy emerged earlier this year. Growing up, his favourite book was How to Kill a Monster. Tonight, Britain and America are waiting for confirmation that they've done just that.